creating a certificate and then replacing that on your ADFS server so we can get single sign on up and running. Okay, so first part in your Faircell org from the home page, click on the setup menu and then in the quick search bar, type in cert and there's only one option. Click on certificate and key management and then you need to click the button that says create self-signed certificate. Give it a label, you can call it uh, anything. That's how ADFS SSO will do. And then click onto the next field and it will create that field for you and leave your key size as 2048. Save that and download that certificate. Okay, click on this link here that says back to list certificates and keys. Go back into there and you want to change the API client certificate away from the default certificate to the new one that you just created. Save that. And then now the last thing we need to do within Faircell is point your single sign on service to that new certificate that we've just created. So if we search for single sign on in the quick search bar, Click on the single sign-on settings, edit your single sign-on settings, and then change the request signing certificate from default to the new certificate that you've just created and save. Now just bear in mind at this point, once you do this, single sign-on will be unavailable to all users. So if they're trying it, it will fail. And then log into your server and open the ADFS management console. Navigate to trust relationships, relying party trusts, and your fair sale single sign on party trust. Right hand click over it and choose properties. If you click on the signature, you will see that there's a proxy.salesforce.com. This is the certificate that's being retired. So what you will need to do is you'll need to add the new certificate that you've just created. So to do that, click on add and then find your certificate. Now it's a .crt file, which is not always recognized by this. So you need to change this to all files and then you will find your certificate. Click apply and then okay. And that's it, you're done. Your single sign-on service will resume as normal.